This is Public, the outdoor show dedicated to those people that enjoy getting out on large tracts of land, large bodies of water, competing with other hunters and fishermen, sharing good times with friends and family, and enjoying our natural resources. Here lately I've been doing a lot of spearfishing. Spearfishing is when you get in the water, put your mask and your snorkel on or your dive tank on, you dive down to the fish and you look around rubble piles, rock piles, or reefs, try to find fish that you want to harvest for the day. Now in spearfishing there's no catch and release so if you do decide to go ahead and take a fish you better make sure it's of legal size you better make sure it's one you want to take home for dinner otherwise don't shoot it and waste the resource. My mentality is I'm gonna run out here and try to get myself some dinner for the next day or two but I'm not gonna freeze any fish so I'll go out I'll kill three or four fish um, if they're smaller fish one fish if it's a big one uh, a keeper grouper I can make six meals out of that uh, but for a keeper snapper, uh, it's usually one meal per fish. And I'm going out, I'm catching the fish I need, and then I'm bringing them home and I'm eating them, and then I'm going out and enjoying it again the next weekend instead of stockpiling the freezer up and then eating freezer burnt fish. I don't like eating freezer burnt fish. Really like fresh fish. And when you live around here in Florida, that's easy to do. Now in this video, I target one of our closer reefs. Today I'm only running three to five miles offshore, and I'm at about 30 foot of water. I've been seeing a lot of mangrove snapper in these areas on these top reefs, and today I'm targeting mangrove snapper. The length limit on these is 10 inches. You'll see a lot of 10 inch fish, but I'm gonna turn them all down. I'm really targeting those 15 inch fish, because I'm looking for some few quality fish to take home to dinner. And I was able to do it just one morning of fishing. Y'all come along and check it out.
All right, boys. I know y'all saw that cast net that footage. This is what it looks like. It's full of bait fish. Down here just killing fish. Now, I don't know how this one got down there. But if you ever get to a spot where you're about to lose your cast net, do everything you can to get it out of the water. Otherwise, it winds up just killing this beautiful resource. Luckily, I was able to get this one out of the water. What a great guy. I was able to pick up about four snapper down there. This beautiful gulf wreck. Saw a lot of snook, giant jewfish. We got enough snapper for dinner tonight. I tried running down one of those big jewfish. I couldn't even catch him with those big fish. Things are fast. He didn't look like he was trying to move it off. Thanks for watching today's episode of Public Outdoors. Y'all stay tuned because we've got a bunch of alligator hunting coming up and we've got some more spearfishing coming up before then, but it's gonna be a great fall season. See ya.